Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is Sarah and in my last video I said I am not going to San Diego and here I am in San Diego. Why? Because I was in Charla today and the hostel I was going to book was sold out in Charla. I was going to go to a different hostel and then I was going to go volunteer on the farm but they're not accepting volunteers yet. So I was like, well, what am I gonna do? And Tara is kind of expensive. So the thing about these small, like little towns that you go to, they are more expensive because they have less accommodation. So I was paying a little bit more than I normally would for an accommodation. So I decided very last minute, like an hour ago to come here and I actually found a little cute apartment that sleeps like 10 people has like four bedrooms, but I just booked it for myself because oh, sometimes when you're traveling, the last thing you wanna do is be around other people. And I have been around people, even if I have my own room, I've been doing my own rooms this, this time around traveling. And even if you have your own room, like there's something about like when you get up, there's someone there that you have to talk to. Someone in the hostel asking you what you're doing today, where you're going, and like seriously, I don't wanna do anything. I've told like eight people at hostels, they're like, what do you want to do? I said, nothing. And then they refer re recommend me like eight th billion things to do. So I was just like done. So I rented this place for seven days. It was 64 US dollars for a week. That's about 30, I don't know how many pesos, but it was 290,000 pesos for a week, which is whatever the dollar exchange rate is when I took out money. It's like $65 maybe. Anyways, it's, perfect there is nobody here but me i don't have to see anybody i don't have to check in with anybody it's like a real apartment and i'll give you a quick tour of what it is but like that kind of happens when you're long-term traveling and you always live where other people live like you're always living in hostels or even like when you are in hotels because i go to places where it's a little loud here but i don't even care because i sleep i can sleep like a baby anywhere and like a baby like sleeping not like sleeping and waking up every two hours like a baby i sleep like i'm out i'm out so yeah so that's the thing like if you're in a hotel like they always want to make sure that their guest is you know taken care of they want to make sure you're okay you're happy you're having a good time because you're tourists that don't live here but I don't think they realize that. Sometimes when I tell people I live, I tell people I've lived and been in Colombia for two years. So they like kind of get the hint like, I don't want to do anything. I'm here to see things that I want to see. I want to go for a walk in nature, which might be kind of hard here because I'm in the city. And I tell you, the last time I was here, it was not this busy. It was five years ago and it is really, really crazy right now. That's the reason I did not want to come here but for the price and to just get out of being around other people whatever but i'm right on the one of the main roads but it's also like three o'clock in the afternoon so that's why so yeah i'm in like the little living room here
yeah so it's like a cute little typical very typical colombian apartment and this is like what if you were to rent something here this is like what you would get here because it has like the place to hand wash your clothes but it also has a wa hand washer in that little ante room off the where you wash the clothes that is very common in colombia as well it's like they call it like the servants quarters like so or like maids quarters i don't really know what the technical term is but that's where like if you had someone stay living in your house to like do take care of things for you that's where they would live so anyways i'll sleep in here because it's the prettiest because this i'll sleep in here because this room is the prettiest and i think this is like the master bedroom but anyways yeah so this is going to be my home for a week and if i want to stay longer i might if i like it i'm hoping it's not super loud all the time but i have a feeling it will be so i'm just gonna have to adjust to my life but whatever my life is like gonna be very very chill this week so i might record a lot of videos i will go walk around sand hill and do like a tour if i i don't know we'll see how i feel when i get out because this is one of those towns that before i don't know i don't know how i have to see how safe it is here but i think it's okay it's probably safe but i just don't like to bring out my camera in really busy areas that's why i don't really film in busy areas anyways yeah so this will be my week so i'm sure i will see you all soon but this is like a typical colombian apartment so hope you enjoyed that tour so if it was going to be for the month it would cost like 64 times 4 16 i think i did it like 3 260 or something to rent this for the month probably so yeah so that's what Typical apartment here in San Juan, it looks like. And thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see y'all soon. Bye.